Unexpected good news today. We serve a God that neither sleeps nor slumber. He remains God today and forever. He is the creator of the whole universe. He who could do all these things in six days is capable of doing anything for you. He who created you and responsible for the breath you breathe today is set to do more than you can think or even imagine today. Get set and be ready. He is a doer of great and mighty things. It is not how you think it would be that matters. He is a great God and would work wonders to the shame of the enemies and the amazement of all that see it. Whatever He does is good and creates news, except God is not involved. But when He gets involved, we are in for a great show. This season, God is showing forth in your life. God is stepping in and changing and turning things for your good. This is your season of restoration and glorification. He is set to turn away every shame and every pain. He would beautify your life and make you shine again. Celebrate for this season. God is giving you big news, one that would make news, one that would make men see and glorify the God that you serve. What He would do for you would draw men to Himself. That is what gives Him glory, and through your life, that glory would shine forth for all to see. At the wedding in Canaan, the couples did not expect any help or good news because they knew their wine was insufficient to cater for their guest. But Jesus turned the situation around. He gave them the best wedding gift by turning water into wine that was better than the first provided by the couple. Your life may have been filled with lack. With no hope of change, you may have lost your work or means of livelihood. There might be no one to help out or cater for your needs. It is not your end. Change is coming your way, and it is coming sooner than you expected. That job you have applied and you were turned down? Expect positive news from them. Expect news of help today. God is putting it in the heart of men to come to your aid. Men would lose their peace until they come to your aid. The system is placed under pressure from this moment until what is yours is delivered into your hands. The children of Israel were in slavery in the land of Egypt. Until God sent Moses to come deliver them from the hands of the Egyptians, but it seemed not to be working. They were also not expecting an easy answer from the king, but it happened suddenly. The people of Egypt were eager for them to leave, and not only leave, but also willing to give them whatever they asked for, because God stepped in and walked through the land of Egypt. Good news must come through wherever God passes through. The same is happening for you. God is walking through and visiting the places you have submitted your application, either for work, for travel. Or approval, and they will call you to have what you want at your own terms. Believe it, because it is happening. As you walk through the land of Egypt, He is also walking through systems and agencies for you. Your good news is sure, and it is real. Your testimony shall be real, and it shall make news. You are set for the encounter. You are set for the unexpected news. Every insufficiency ends today. He is sending the prophet ahead to declare that the windows of heaven shall be opened, and all your needs shall be met. The good news of resources shall fill the land. The good news of provision shall fill the air. The good news of abundance shall fill the city. There shall no longer be lack in the land, because He is coming stronger for you, and you shall not want again. He is providing supply for you and for all around you. This is that season. It is your season of plenty. It is a season of abundance. It is a season of good and great news. The Lord asked His disciples what they had, and they said only five loaves of bread and two fishes. But He multiplied it, and the story was different afterwards. For your little investments, you will have good news to share. For the abundance you have prayed to God for, you will have great supply. You might think you are not qualified for the blessing, but His mercy will speak for you. Like Joseph, who would imagine that he could be made prime minister in a foreign land without qualification? He was even a slave. 
He never thought that he could attain such a position, but that was what God wanted for him, and that day, he got his good news. It may seem as though you cannot achieve it, but believe today that there is good news for you. Look up to God for your good. Like David, he would locate you in the bush and anoint you as a king over your people. You may have been forgotten, but he has not forgotten you. You may think you have reached your end, but he is set to take you higher and give you more reasons to serve him. He will give you unexpected news and also qualify you for the news he has given you. He is not a God that does things halfway. He finishes what he has started. He picked David from the bush, anointed him, and made the arrangement and preparation for him to take over as the king of Israel. Even Saul, who was king before him, God picked him and made him king. You are set to receive good news from God today, like God told Abraham, As your eye can see, I give unto you. As you desire and think, God will step in and make it happen. There is nothing bigger than him. There is no situation he cannot handle. There is no request he cannot attend to. There is any system he cannot turn to favor you. Receive your good news from God today. Receive your testimony from your Maker 